Okay, so hello and welcome back. Now continuing with the same discussion, there is another, a couple more examples, essentially two examples here that are um, essentially that are simple but important, meaning important in, in that we can basically discuss different things in these essentially in these examples and these these different I mean th those things that we can discuss are are actually important meaning that you can use them elsewhere right now the question is the time the town newspaper is published every day right and uh, of course these types of problems you have to meaning that these types of word problems you have to read them very carefully um, meaning that, for example, um, every day. So, for example, the, the 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 phrase every day in this problem is of course important because then, if you miss it, then 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 you're you're not you're not going to arrive at the, at the at the solution. Okay. Essentially, word problems have to be read very carefully. I mean, some people say that you have to read them twice or even thrice. But as a, we have to essentially make sure that you understand the problem, whatever you do. One copy has 12 pages. Every day, 11,980 copies are printed. How many total pages are printed every day, right? So you want to know essentially the number of total pages that are printed every day. And you know that essentially every day so many copies are printed and every copy has 12 pages right so then how do you how do you essentially calculate this so then you might simply say that then and here the the context is 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 um, rather simple right so it's not i mean this this type of problem you could simply say that for example since essentially one copy has 12 pages and every day so many copies are printed then every day 12 times so many essentially pages would be printed meaning that the, the total number of pages printed every day would be basically 12 times 11,980 and the unit would be pages right now this type of problem you can of course you can you can you can you can solve this way without any problems or but but then if you make this a little bit more complicated i mean if you make the problem a little bit more complicated meaning that for example if i told you that for example um, one copy has 12 pages and then every page has so many sub pages and then and then there is basically every copy has so many chapters and then every chapter and so if i keep making it more complicated then essentially you might uh, you might make a mistake in your solution meaning that sometimes you have to do a division sometimes you have to do a a, a multiplication and you might get that wrong right so if it's necessary to solve the problem in a systematic way then of course the the way that you would solve the problem would be basically um, would be um, uh, chain multiplication and chain multiplication essentially what i mean by that is essentially what we what we used for unit conversion that we used before essentially so in chain multiplication so for example an, an example for chain multiplication would be an example for chain multiplication would be that for example you have you have for example let's say that you have 12 centimeters and you want to you want to know what that is in millimeters right so then what what, what we did was that we wrote 12 centimeters multiplied by some factor which is supposed to be equal to one because any number multiplied by one is itself so if you multiply the 12 centimeter by one you're not 
essentially disturbing the the equation basically right the equation has to remain an equation whatever you do essentially you can for example over here you can multiply by one over here you can multiply by you can divide by one and still the the equation is not disturbed right so you're not essentially an equation if it's supposed to remain a, a valid equation you're not supposed to disturb it whatever you do essentially you're not supposed to disturb it otherwise it doesn't remain an equation a valid equation so then over here this what what i can do for example since i want to end up with millimeters first i have to get rid of this centi so this is this is in the numerator so in the denominator i put the centi so that they cancel out and then over here i have to put the same thing as centi in the numerator here because this is supposed to become a one right essentially anything divided by itself is equal to one so since i've written the centi here i write for example 10 raised to the power negative 2 over here which is essentially the same thing as um, 1 over 100 right now what happens is that the centi here is cancelled out with this centi and i i essentially what remains is the meter but then i want millimeter so i need to add a milli somehow so i multiply by milli and then i divide by the same thing as milli so milli is 10 raised to the power negative 3 which is the same thing as 1 over a thousand so that is essentially 1 over a thousand right so then then, then essentially what happens is that centi is cancelled out with centi and then for example i could write this as 12 mm, the milli and meter put them together millimeter this becomes essentially 1 over 100 over 1 which is 1 over 100 and over here i have so this is again 1 over 1 over a thousand which is a thousand right so this is a thousand and then thousand divided by a hundred is a ten and then ten times twelve is equal to 120 millimeters so this part over here that you see this is called chain multiplication and this is used in physics this is used in chemistry wherever you go whenever you want to whenever you start with something essentially you start with 12 centimeters and then you will end up with you you will you will essentially keep multiplying in a chain as a result of which you will end up with something that you were looking for right now the same type of operation you can the same, essentially the same type of operation you can you can use in order to solve these types of problems and the way that you can do that i'll show you okay so now basically in 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 solving these types of problems what you will do is that using the same mm, technique of essentially of chain multiplication so the only thing that is important here is that of course this for example this this problem you could you could easily solve without this technique right but then again if i if I make it a little bit more complicated, if I say that, for example, uh, one copy has, for example, five chapters, each, each, each chapter has, for example, four five sub chapters, each such sub chapters has so many pages, then um, you might essentially get confused, and then some, and then you might even you might even have you might even have to essentially do a division instead you might do a multiplication and so on and and so you might get it wrong essentially right now um but then if if the situation becomes complicated in the case of in the essentially in which case you you have to um you have to essentially use chain multiplication 
the only thing that is important is to note that basically that it is important to 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 essentially to know what you're actually looking for okay <clears throat> so you're actually looking for <clears throat> for the total number of pages total number of pages printed every day right so you're looking for this and then you have to somehow out of the information that you have you have to essentially extract this okay and the way that you do that is that for example one copy contains for example 12 pages right so i can write one copy contains 12 pages or essentially I'm going to just write page so one copy contains 12 pages and um, and then um, and then basically the um, every day so many copies are printed so if I multiply this by essentially every day meaning in one day so many copies are printed so i'm going to put the because over here the copy is in the numerator and the copy over here if i put it in the denominator meaning i write 11980 copies right then what happens is that and that is in one day right so that what happens is that this copy and this copy will cancel out which is exactly what I want because I want I'm looking for the total number of pages and every day meaning in one day so the copy here is eliminated this way right now this essentially means that this essentially means that basically over here I have in one day 12 times so many pages so that's 12 times 11,980 pages so this essentially this fra this fraction over here tells me that in one day a total number of 12 times 11,900 pages are printed okay and of course then the same process would take care of every kind of essentially whether you have to divide whether you have to multiply essentially the the process itself will take care of everything so you just need to you just need to um, essentially set up your your fractions correctly meaning one copy 12 pages multiply by essentially then for example so many copies and every day one day and then you have to essentially make sure that you put the the right thing essentially either in the numerator or in the denominator and there is essentially the the way to decide for example this copy i could have i could, I could have put it in the numerator right but then that wouldn't have helped me because copy over here is already in the numerator if i put this copy in the numerator then they will not cancel out and so then i will not i would not essentially get to what i was looking for so depending on where you've put this copy then you have to essentially uh, choose the the right place for the second copy and so on and so forth do the same thing with every basically unit that you have and then the essentially you will you will you will essentially arrive at the at the desired answer okay so that's that's one example another example of the same type is basic is this example over here that says that basically for example this one is a little bit more complicated so the number of sheets of paper available for making notebook is so many sheets for example you have seven seventy five thousand sheets each sheet makes eight pages of a notebook right each one sheet makes eight pages of a notebook and each notebook contains 200 pages so uh, essentially you have a notebook contains 200 pages how many notebooks can be made from the paper available so 
Essentially, you need to know if a notebook contains 200 pages, then how many um, then how many notebooks can you make out of 75,000 sheets of paper considering the fact that eight pages of a notebook can be made with one sheet with with one sheet essentially right so how do you how do you essentially find out what to how to set up your your calculation so again you can use basically for example in this case you can use chain multiplication so the information that i have is that um, essentially the number of sheets available so the number of sheets available is is 75000 right and i know that one sheet makes basically eight pages of a notebook and each notebook one notebook contains basically 200 pages right so now how many notebooks how many notebooks can be made can be made essentially given that there is so many sheets of paper available right so now how do you solve this problem you can start for example with the number of sheets you have essentially 75,000 sheets and then multiply it by essentially the relationship that there is between sheets of paper and the pages of the book so essentially then since the sheet is in the numerator already and the way that you know that it's in the numerator essentially if you just simply write something whatever that might be and multiply it by something else this thing over here is in the numerator of course right meaning that if i write for example two times five both of these are are already in the numerator meaning that i can write the same calculation as two over one times five over one that's the same thing right so both are in the numerator and now 75,000 75, sheets of paper and so because i want to eliminate sheet because i want to end up with the number of notebooks i put this sheet in the denominator so that they cancel out and that corresponds to eight pages now still essentially the sheets will cancel out but then the pages are um, the page essentially the page is not is not what i'm looking for i'm, I'm looking for the, for the number of notebooks and I know that one notebook corresponds to 200 pages. So I write basically the page over here. So that's 200 pages. That corresponds to one notebook. And that is essentially, and that essentially, if you do the calculation sheet and sheet, you can cancel out page and page you can cancel out. You have basically 75,000 times an 8 divided by a by eight by a by a 200 so that's essentially 75,000 times an 8 over a 200 in notebooks so then you can simply you can simply can't essentially simplify meaning that divide this by 100 you'll get a 2 divide this by 100 you'll get a 750 and 750 divided by 2 is the same thing as 350 and 375 and 375 and that's divided by 2 is 1 so let me calculate here just make sure that i'm not making any mistakes 750 divided by 2 is 375 and that's 375 times an 8 which is the same thing as as 3000 
That's 3000 notebooks. Okay. So the answer is given that we have basically given that we have 75,000 sheet and one sheet makes eight pages and a notebook essentially contains 200 pages then the number of notebooks that can be made using the uh, 75,000 sheets of paper is nothing but 3,000 okay now you can see that for example over here the the solution over here for example first multiplies 75,000 by 8 and then the answer is divided by for example a 200 which is exactly now this is using essentially logic but this this type of logic it there is well every possibility that you could actually make mistakes okay but using essentially this type of logic it's not just just not possible to make mistakes as long as you set up your chain multiplication correctly then everything will be taken care of meaning you see over here the 75,000 is is automatically multiplied by 8 and then the result is automatically divided by 200 and the whole thing is taken care of okay now hopefully this video was helpful and in the next video we will talk about exercise 1.2 thank you